So with the new NVIDIA GPUs dropping really soon, as early as next month in September, let's talk about the current generation and when those come out, are there any in the current generation that you should keep an eye on to get at a really good price as people sell their old cards in order to get the new stuff? Well, I got a few ideas, so let's talk about it. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology. Remember to smash that like button, leave a comment below, let me know what GPU you're looking forward to getting, and remember to subscribe as well. So new NVIDIA GPUs, the 3000 series, such as the 3080, 3080 Ti, and the possible 3090 are gonna be announced really any day now, as soon as next month in September. So while a lot of us know that we definitely wanna upgrade as every generation brings a lot of great improvements, there's also something we have to remember. The current generation that we have now, such as the 2060, 70, 2080, 2080 Ti, they're very, very good GPUs as well. They're so good, in fact, that not even AMD has been able to get anything out, even after a few years, that can be the 2080, 2080 Ti. So here's the question. When the new 3000 series comes out, of course, they're going to be more expensive than the current generation as it usually is. What GPU should you keep an eye on on the secondary market? Most of the time it's going to be used. Sometimes retailers may start to discount the old stock a little bit in order to make room for the new GPUs. So let's talk about a few GPUs you should really keep an eye on. The first one, I think it's going to be the best value for your buck in terms of going a little bit more into the high end, and that's going to be the 2080 Super. Now, NVIDIA sells these, the Founders Edition, around $699, and you can find various third-party models between $700 to $800, depending on the cooler and just how intricate that GPU gets from that third-party manufacturer. But right now it's around new $700 or so. The 2080 Super I think represents an incredible value in the high end because it can do 4K and ultra wide gaming and 1080p 240 hertz refresh rate gaming, but it doesn't cost as much as a 2080 Ti. Of course the 2080 Ti is better, but you're gonna be paying well over $1,000 for a copy of the 2080 Ti. So the 2080 Super gets you most of the way there in terms of performance. Of course, it's not as good as a 2080 Ti, but it's considerably cheaper. Now, as soon as the 3000 series drops, and of course, if you know that's what you want, you're gonna pay a premium to get the best performance. Keep an eye on the 2080 Supers because a lot of people are gonna start selling their card in order to upgrade to the new 3080 or even the 3080 Ti. So you will start to see these 2080 Supers get down in price and not to mention the regular vanilla 2080 that came out before the Super. I think that still represents an incredible value. And on the secondary market, I've seen them go for as low as like the high 400s range, low 500s. So that's a fantastically performing GPU, you don't necessarily need the newest 3080. The 2080 at that price point, that's still going to give you, I think, years of use. It works fantastically well. And then the second GPU you should keep an eye on, it's not going to be the 20 series, it's going to be the 1080 Ti. Now, if you know that you want to take advantage of the new ray tracing features and you want to play everything at max graphics, I would definitely skip these. These definitely now, they're going to be another generation old, so they're going to be coming down in price even more. Um, but if you want to take advantage of ray tracing and all the new technologies, it's going to be less and less able to do those type of things compared to something like a 2080 or the newer 3000 series. So I would definitely pick this up if you just want to do straight like 1080p gaming, high refresh rates, maybe even 1440p like competitive gaming. That GPU is still going to give you fantastic performance as well as on AAA titles where you don't need necessarily the max graphics or ray tracing. You can turn that off and still use this GPU fairly well. And coming down on the list is the 2070 or 2070 Super. You could also look for the prices on these to decrease. Now, we don't know how much of a price decrease that will be because that's going to depend on the price of the new GPUs. For example, if Nvidia prices these new GPUs fairly affordably and people really like the price, everybody's going to sell their old GPUs and buy the new one. This is going to apply for any older GPU and those prices are going to tank. But there's a caveat. If Nvidia prices these new 3000 GPUs fairly expensively where it's out of reach for most consumers, people are going to hold on to their cards, be it a 1080 Ti or a 20 series GPU or a 1070. They're going to hold on to their cards and not sell them just because the price of entry may be high with the new GPUs. 
And that's going to mean that on the secondary market, prices really aren't going to change that much. And so you're not going to have as much luck buying them just because more and more people are holding on to them. So we're not sure yet what's going to happen. That's going to be all up to Nvidia's pricing. So it can really go either way. If the GPU prices are high for the new cards, the old stuff is going to stay high too because people are going to hold on to them. Now, kind of knowing Nvidia, prices have been going up. So I wouldn't think it's going to be any cheaper. Um, all we can hope for is really ridiculously high performance at a fairly fair price. I don't think Nvidia is going to go down on the price too much, especially after all sort of the mining craze that we had the last few years. And especially with the world situation that we're in, I think a lot of manufacturing probably got a little bit more expensive. So with everything together, I really don't think prices will go down too much. We just have to hope that they stay at a fair level and that way the older GPUs will go down as people can afford the new stuff. But we're going to have to wait and see on that one. And if you look for bargains, you could always find slightly older versions of the 20 series. Like I mentioned, instead of getting the 2060 Super, you can find a 2060 or 2060 KO edition for considerably cheaper. And that way you can definitely fit it into your budget as you're building a PC. Even if you don't buy the new 3000 series, these GPUs are still going to give you, in many cases, years of fairly good performance. So in summary, we're here in August. What do I recommend you do in terms of GPUs? Well, I definitely wouldn't buy any new 20 series GPUs for now. Um, if you really need something, if you have to build a computer, if yours broke, then that's you know a little bit different case. If you have to buy a GPU, maybe try to look on the used market for one that's in nice condition. And that way I think you're gonna save money and you're gonna not lose the depreciation compared to a new GPU. But I would definitely hold off on buying any GPUs for this month just to wait until the 3000 series comes out. When that comes out, then you can make a decision if they're going to fit into your budget. And then even if you don't buy the 3000 series, you'll be able to pick up the last generation GPU series for, you know, a decent discount. We don't know how huge it's going to be. It's going to depend on the price of the new GPUs and the demand for it. But for now, definitely hold off on buying GPUs. But for now, definitely hold off on buying GPUs unless you score like a pretty incredible deal or, or find one on the used market for a good price. Later on, you could always sell it back at probably a minimal loss. But for now, I would hold off and let's see what these announcements are. And remember with NVIDIA's announcements when they initially release these cards. Generally, they tend to focus on the high-end cards first, like the 3080, 3080 Ti. So if you're waiting for more of the mid-range cards, you may have to wait a little bit. But once again, we just have to wait and see, and let's see what NVIDIA is going to do. But it's definitely going to be pretty exciting times next month as these GPUs are announced and released. And remember, a lot of times in the beginning, just because it's announced doesn't mean that you're going to be able to get it into your hand that quick. They may be sold out. They may be delayed shipping until the end of the year, especially with the current world market that we're in. So just keep that in mind. It's something that could still be a few months away, even if they announce it next month. By the time you actually get it into your hands, it could take a little while. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to give the thumbs up, comment below, subscribe if you like my content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.